It was 50 years ago this year that Beatlemania took over the Crescent City at what was then known as City Park Stadium. Well, today, city leaders went to that same location, which is now Tad Gormley Stadium, to mark the anniversary, and they did it in great style. Beatlemania touched down in NOLA only once. It was September 16, 1964. They played in front of 12,000 screaming fans and were in town for less than 24 hours. For those of you who may have been there, do you remember this? 200 teens collapsed from excitement. 100 broke through a police barricade and charged the stage. It took 225 officers and 20 minutes to restore order. Oh, it was chaotic. A memory music lovers like Sharon Snowdy will never forget. Yet. My mom took a gaggle of young girls. I was in the fourth grade, and all I seem to remember about the concert was her saying, Don't even think about jumping over that rail. <laughs> then Mayor Victor Skiro met them at the Congress Inn Hotel on Chef Mentor Highway and gave the singing heartthrobs a key to the city. He gave a proclamation to the Beatles back then and declared September 16th of 1964 to be Beatles Day. <laughs> that was then. And this is now city leaders recreating the iconic Abbey Road album cover. I am Ringo. You're star. Ringo. <laughs> yes. And I actually thought I looked the most like it. Complete with the thick white stripes and the VW bug in the background, all to recognize the band and the historic show that they say contributed to world culture. The police were picking up girls and on their horsebacks and, and dry, riding them over to the stadium to get them out the way and. Other people were running and trying to roll in the limousine dirt of the Beatles where they had walked or where they had, their cars had gone. The memories seem to live on for Beatles fans here who are glad that they made a stop in NOLA on their North American tour. What's your favorite song? Probably it's uh, I Want to Hold Your Hand. Oh. Yeah. Do you want to sing a little bit for us? Uh, no, I don't think you want me to do that. <laughs> Maybe next time. It was really a fun story to do. And if you want to relive that unforgettable night, 50 years to the day on September 16th at 7 p.m. right here, there'll be a recreation of that concert with the tribute band, The Fab Four. So all fans, of course, are encouraged to wear their favorite 60s attire. For more information on that, you can call 504-457-2934 for ticket information. Speaking of tickets, my dad was there. He was 18 years old when that <laughs> concert happened. He didn't have the $5 ticket cost to get in. His parents didn't have the money. He told me earlier, so he just stood at the gate and looked through, and he said there was a gap in the stadium where he could see the stage, so he saw the back of Ringo Starr, oh, wow. the whole concert, and they could hear the, the concert. He said you could actually hear it because you weren't near the screaming girls, so <laughs> you could actually hear the music from outside. Five dollar tickets, yeah. that's hard to believe.